Hey, what's going on, guys? Finvince here. Today, I'm just going to make a video showing my top 10 bottles I found in 2016. Before I get to that, I'm just going to apologize for not putting anything up recently. You know, obviously, this is a busy time of year. Um, and, you know, I've been busy. Also, the ground's frozen, so I haven't been, been able to, you know, dig that much. But, um... Alright, let's get started of my top 10 favorite bottles I found this year. Alright, um, not really in order. So, first we have this nice green cork top bottle. Probably an old, uh, you know, perfume or something like that. Ointment or cream. Um, D&M Co. You know, that's about 20s, thir early 30s maybe. Um, next we have... True's Elixir, established 1851. Dr. J.F. True & Co. Inc. Auburn, Maine. Keeps children well. Best family uh, values. No, best family medicine. Um, it's blown. That's that's definitely early 20s. Um, that's a nice one. Um, next up, let's go... Uh, B... <coughs> sorry. Um, B, O, and... C.C. C. Wilson, uh, Botanic Druggist, Boston. That's a nice one. That that's a that's a nice blow one blown also. Um, that's early twenties. Um, yeah, nice color to it. I remember finding this. A lot of these you've got you guys have probably seen me find in my past videos. Um, none of these are bought. I found all of these, so that's a that's a good one. Um, let's see, next up we have. This solution citric magnesia magnesia um, bottle. It's a really cool one. Um, it's machine made, but uh, I thought that was really cool. You know, kept it. Might as well put it on the list. That's a interesting bottle. <laughs> um, all right, next up we have. Let's get to new grape. I remember finding this one. That was a great. Great find, never seen it before. I found it. Um, 1920, wait, where does it say the? Yeah, 1920. It was, that was the patent date. Nice uh, imitation grape soda. So, yeah, that's it. That made the list. Um, next, we have the Fairbanks and Neely, Howard Street, Boston, Mass bottle um that's a great one blob top um that's that's old blown of course um it has some nice bubbles in it um found that under a, a thick root i remember i had to dig under it so that was that was a great one found that last winter next up along with that um in the same dump i found this james burns Registered Dorchester, Boston. It doesn't say Boston on it, but that's where it's from. Um, nice. Um, that's a machine made, I think. Uh, milk bottle. The great one. Love those milks. And um, number nine here. I haven't really been counting, but number nine is. I don't think you guys saw me find this, but this. The J.B. Williams Co. Glastonbury, Connecticut, USA bottle. Um, blown. Look at the top on that. I like, I like that top. Um, let's see. Let's get a close-up of that. I think it's cool. Um, look this up. I couldn't find a bottle really like it. I've, I found some other company, but it's a nice perfume bottle, I believe. And that took a bottle stopper. Um, but that's a great one. That was that's definitely one of my favorites. And number ten, you know, it was kind of hard to make the list. You know, I did find a lot of great bottles, but these are just my opinion. Um, number ten, probably I would say the best bottle I found this year would be this Joseph Schlitz Milwaukee Lager Beer bottle. This beautiful color uh, olive. Um, I don't know the I don't know the name for it, but um, J. Graham Boston Mass. That's a great one. 
and it has a stop or two. Schlitz Boston. Um, uh, this is a beauty. This one, it's really great. Of course, you know, blown blob top. Um, and that's that. So that's my ten favorite bottles of the year. Um, there's a few others. Uh, I remember, I really like this bottle. This was a cool one. Common company, but never seen the cork top one. Um, any other ones I can just throw in there? Maybe this would be in there too. This cool uh, Palmer Premium Blue Boston Mass bottle, crown top. Um, and a few other things I found. That's so. That's it for the top ten. But a few other things I found along this uh, winter. Um, not really any great bottles, but I found this cool dollhouse sink. Oh, sorry for the lighting. So that was really cool. Um, and found this. Look at this. Really cool fish. Glass fish. I don't know what that would have belonged to. But, um, and this is... This can this is a, an ugly bottle. I would never keep it, but it does have the original cap on it, um, like a good condition cap. Um, and if you take the cap off, there's this weird. There's like a um, it's it reeks of a nice smelling perfume. It's really nice smelling. It has a cool top, and there's like an original chain around it from the old store price tag or something but just thought that was cool um not the best but i kept it and guys oh wait and did i no i forgot about this i think and this is was one of my favorites that i found r white and co boston this is definitely top 10 um r w white co boston mass very small bottle it's actually blown um wow Oops, that was awkward. I forgot about that. I think <laughs> um, that I was psyched when I found this. Um, but yeah, that's a great one. <laughs> and guys, uh, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers. Um, I'll definitely try and make some more videos of uh, about other things until we can dig again. But um, thanks for watching. Everyone have a great New Year. I forgot to yeah say Happy New Year to everyone. And, uh, okay, guys, peace.